Hello and welcome to Bites Bread and Barbecue. I'm Ross Contino. Today we're going to be discussing some benchmarking and comparing desktop environments on Endeavor and on Canonical. I had started a series of testing benchmarks on the Endeavor OS desktop environment, and I had gone through testing on GNOME, LXQT, XFCE, and even KDE. And I had gone through a series of parameters using Sysbench, HTOP, and NeoFetch to demonstrate some different benchmarks in each environment. I became curious as to whether that would also be extrapolated across other kernels and operating systems within the Linux family. So I decided to run those same parameters between Endeavor OS and Canonical, which is actually the most popular Linux that is used globally. So I ran those same tests and will compare. Now these are just my opinions and just my findings on my computer. Yours may vary. Here we are, we're going to test Endeavor OS versus Canonical, and it's going to be done on GNOME, LXQT, XFCE, and K. I have been told by my viewers that it's supposed to be a hard G GNOME, and LXQT is supposed to be LXQ. Um, I did look it up, and the viewers are correct. That is the way they are currently said, but they also were said the way that I said them um, in what is considered common vernacular uh, for the operating systems. So I'm going to go forward with pronunciation that I'm we're gonna go ahead and what I did was I created virtual machines each with 8 gigabytes of RAM 25 gigabytes of hard drive five CPUs these were created in virtual box on Linux Mint um, the Endeavor OS was tested with the Linux kernel 6.12.7 which is a very recent kernel uh, and the canonical was tested with 6.08 a little bit um, behind the Endeavor OS, but still extremely current. And again, we had the four environments and I testing tools that I used were Sysbench, HTOP, and NeoFet. So across the use of Linux worldwide, the desktop environments that are used, AD is the most popular with 25% of the market. GNOME is coming in second, XFCE at third at 50%, Cinnamon, Mate, and LXQT. Cinnamon is used on the very popular Linux Mint system, and I think that that boosts it up to 10%. Um, you can see that up to 12% are just other environments that kind of go into a general system. Canonical has over, it has 33.9% of the Linux market, outpacing number two Debian at 16%. So Canonical manufactures Ubuntu, um, which is um, the most popular, but it does come in many flavors, each of these with a different desktop environment. Uh, Ubuntu is going to be running GNOME, um, Ubuntu is running LXQT, Xbuntu is running XFCE, and Kunbuntu is running KDE, but they are all based on the Ubuntu system. Endeavor did not even make the top 16 distributions that were found on TrueList Linux statistics for 2020. Four. So why did I choose to do Endeavor OS? At the time, I thought I was going to have to be updating a friend's computer that was older, and I was looking for a very lightweight operating system. So LXQT and XFCE running on Endeavor, which is a very minimal system, it does not even install an office suite, running over Arch, I thought would run very, very quickly. And I hope that these benchmark tests would confirm my thinking. But I decided in this video to compare it to the most popular canonical derivative. So here we're going to look at CPU events. This is how many times the computer can call to the CPU um, within 10 seconds. And we can see that canonical actually outperformed the Endeavor OS. Now, is it statistically significant? I'm not sure that an end user would um, notice the difference, but you can see that in each one of the environments, uh, Canonical did outperform CPU events. Higher is better here. CPU latency. Here we want the lower number to be better. This was kind of all over the place. Um, Canonical performed better with the GNOME environment. Um, it performed better with the uh, LXQT, but XFCE, it was just horrible. For whatever reason, there was a lot of CPU latency, and also in the KDE, Canonical was slower. 
Uh, so the performance tests here were non-conclusive. I went on to the memory events, still working with Sysbench. Um, you can see that the Endeavor OS was able to place slightly more memory events here. Um, the highest one we had was the KDE environment in Endeavor was at 56 million. Um, the canonical tended to hover between 52 and 53 million, but there was more memory events posted in 10 seconds on the Endeavor OS. Memory latency, you can see here, lower numbers are better. Um, canonical basically uh, had a lot more memory latency than the Endeavor OS. The Endeavor OS was outperforming. The one exception here was an XFCE, and I'm not sure if that's an outlier or not, um, because you can see that in a regular testing here in each environment, Canonical had a lot more latency. We moved on to HTOP, where this was telling us how much memory the operating system occupied. Like I said, each one of these virtual machines had eight gigabytes of memory present uh, of RAM. And the memory you're seeing here is in megabytes of RAM that just the operating system consumed. Um, again, an outlier with KDE, it seemed that the Endeavor OS was using a tremendous amount more memory, but you can also see that KDE in general uses more memory than any of the other desktop environments. LXQT and XFCE are going to be your particularly. HTOP load average. When you use HTOP, it gives you load average numbers that are supposed to predict three different threads at one minute, five minute, and 15 minutes. Now these are the minimum ones that were projected for the one minute time uh, when I went to test them. Um, you can see that on average, Nonical was outperforming the, uh, the Endeavor OS. Lower numbers are better. Now, the one exception again is KDE Endeavor outperformed. I'm not sure why that is or if they're loading different utilities with that KDE. Remember that uh, Endeavor OS had a very large amount of memory consumed. Maybe it preloads things to help um, that it heavily weights the front end and then on the back end it performs better. I'm not quite sure. But in general, Canonical was outperforming. Endeavor OS for load average second. I went on and used NeoFetch to demonstrate the amount of memory consumed. Now this should have been very similar to what we saw in HTOP and in fact it was. It's almost identical numbers that we saw in HTOP. Now these next two sides, my um, son who is a computer programmer told me that these are almost useless sides but what I was trying to demonstrate is uh, the, the bar graphs don't tell you much but Endeavor OS in every version for every desktop environment is using using a newer kernel and they also use newer desktop environments for KDE it was exactly the same but they do use more recent versions of GNOME, LXQT and XFCE and Endeavor OS than they do at Canonical. My conclusions, uh, Endeavor OS is a lighter install uh, and it is placed over Arch Linux with a newer kernel. Canonical is very polished with more utilities and an office suite installed from the, from the get-go and it's over the Ubuntu Linux. The kernel is slightly older. General observations were the Canonical used more memory with the exception of KDE. Latency was better in Endeavor OS. Memory load was less in Canonical with the exception of KDE. And Endeavor OS used newer kernel in all desktop versions overall. KDE versions was the same in both operating systems. These are just a few little tests that I decided to perform on my own computer and virtual machines. Your mileage may vary. I don't have any specific resources to assure that the statistics are completely accurate, but I thought it was an interesting comparison between the most popular and also one of the most lightweight operating systems within the Linux family, each running the same desktop environment. Um, now you would probably go on an endeavor to load things like an office suite and some of the utilities that and I did notice that with Endeavor, 
Um, uh, since it's a rolling release over Arch, any type of software you install, you're going through Pac-Man generally at the terminal. You don't have things like the very nice GUI software store that you find on the canonical products. However, it did run lightweight, it had a newer kernel, um, and I thought that it was an interesting environment to play with. Um, so if you found any of this helpful or if you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button. That helps me with YouTube. Um, and if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if not, be kind. And we'll see you the next time at Bites Bread and Barbecue. Bye.